my great 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 grandfather was a Confederate soldier. It doesn't matter what argument or reason you might have to fly that flag, it simply cannot outweigh the reasons we have to take it down. We don't have a perfect record in country. Uh, we've not always lived up to our ideals. Uh, there are things that uh, we should examine and change and things we should apologize for, and, and that's an okay thing to do. There's no shame uh, in admitting uh, your mistakes. In fact, I think that's a sign of strength and character. always wanted to be as proud of my state flag as I am of my home state. And yet there it is, this, this symbol of hate on my home state's flag. And uh, I stumbled across a petition that had been drafted by descendants of veterans. And they were petitioning to have the flag changed. And I thought that is the coolest thing I have seen. Because a lot of times in these discussions, you hear the argument, well, it's heritage, not hate. And if anyone has a reason to argue heritage, not hate, I think it would be the direct descendants of Confederate veterans, of which I am one. And from what I've read of his letters, I, I, I'd like to believe and, I, and my hope is that he, uh, and I believe that he detested that war uh, and would have wanted to be remembered for the life he made, not the war he fought. Country music wouldn't exist without the blues. It wouldn't exist without the gospel influence, uh, both of which came from, came over on slave ships. I think that trust is an important uh, part of the conversation today uh, because right now in country music, I think what we're seeing is the country music community trying to figure out how can we be better allies for people of color. Knowing this tradition in country music of, of people speaking up, uh, to simply say shut up and sing is, is a poorly informed stance to take. That said, I, I don't want to write off someone uh, who posts that comment on the internet simply because they said that one thing, because I think compassion is such a key ingredient here. And I think a lot of times with systemic injustice, sometimes people don't even know that they're a part of the problem. But if you are a white man in country music, you need to be listening twice as hard because we have a lot to learn and there may be things that we don't even realize we do and say that can be hurtful to uh, the women that are our peers and to the people of color that are our peers. The slightest adjustment in our actions and our word, words could have far-reaching consequences for bringing about a more equitable country music. You don't have to speak up in overt or controversial ways. Uh, reading books, listening to uh, new voices, uh, watching documentaries, learning what not to say, uh, admitting our mistakes, uh, showing our audience that we can evolve and grow uh, and have compassion. That's all a part of what speaking up in this moment is. That's a part of this great country music tradition. Thank you.